Have you ever wondered why you can't stop thinking about that one person? It feels like magic, right? Like fate has decided that this person is the one. But here's the shocking truth. It's not magic at all. Your brain is running a secret algorithm, deciding who you fall for and, trust me, it's wilder than you think. Attraction isn't some mystical force, it's pure science. And whether we like it or not, our brains are wired to follow specific patterns when choosing a partner. Understanding this can not only explain why you're drawn to certain people, but also help you make better choices when it comes to love. Your brain's love algorithm. Your brain operates through three main systems, lust, attraction, and attachment. Imagine it like a reality dating show happening inside your head, where each system plays a role in deciding who stays and who goes. Lust. This is where it all begins. It's driven by hormones like testosterone and estrogen, making you feel the urge to seek out potential partners. It's your brain whispering, go find someone. This phase is purely physical based on looks, scent, and other primal instincts. Attraction, the butterflies, the obsession, the endless daydreaming. This is where dopamine floods your system, making you feel on top of the world whenever you think about that special person. It's the same chemical that makes gambling or eating your favorite food feel so good it's addictive. Your brain rewards you for focusing on this person, making them seem even more special. Attachment. This is the glue that holds long-term relationships together, fueled by oxytocin, also known as the love hormone and vasopressin. These chemicals deepen emotional bonds and create a sense of security. It's why couples who have been together for years still feel connected its biology reinforcing that bond. But here's where it gets crazy. These systems don't always work together. That's why you might feel lust for one person, deep attraction for another, and long-term attachment to someone entirely different. It explains why we sometimes feel drawn to people who aren't good for us, because different parts of our brain are pulling us in different directions. Why your brain picks one person over another? So, if love is just chemistry, what actually makes your brain choose that person? Turns out, there's more happening beneath the surface than you realize. Ever noticed how the more you see someone, the more attractive they seem? That's called the mere exposure effect your brain loves what it recognizes. This is why childhood friends, co-workers, or even gym buddies can suddenly become crush material. The more familiar someone feels, the safer and more appealing they become. Subconscious patterns. Here's where things get really interesting. Research suggests that we're often attracted to people who remind us of our parents. Not in looks, but in behaviors, mannerisms, and emotional patterns we grew up with. If you had a supportive and loving parent, you may naturally seek out partners with similar qualities. But if you had a difficult childhood, you might unknowingly be drawn to partners who recreate that same emotional dynamic leading to toxic relationship patterns. Biology at play. Your brain is wired to look for signs of health and good genes. Facial symmetry, clear skin, strong posture, all of these send silent signals to your subconscious that someone is a good choice. Evolution has trained us to seek out partners who seem capable of survival and reproduction. This is why attraction often feels instant hits your brain, making snap judgments based on centuries of evolutionary programming. Love is literally like an addiction. Let's talk about what happens when you're really into someone. When you're crushing hard, your brain releases a powerful cocktail of chemicals. Dopamine. This is the pleasure chemical that makes love feel euphoric and addictive. It's the same one released when you eat chocolate, win a game, or achieve a goal. That's why you can't stop thinking about your crush it's a literal high. Norepinephrine. This is what makes your heart race, your palms sweat, and your stomach flip when you're around them. It's what makes love feel exciting, unpredictable, and nerve-wracking all at once. Serotonin levels drop. This explains those obsessive thoughts. Studies show that people in the early stages of love have serotonin levels similar to those with OCD. Your brain is literally prioritizing thoughts of your crush over everything else. That's why falling in love feels like an addiction because, in a way, it is. Your brain is feeding you a rush of chemicals that keep you hooked. The X Factor. Why some people just click. But here's where science throws a curveball. Attraction isn't just about biology. It's deeply personal and unpredictable. Psychologists call it the X Factor, 
that unexplainable spark you feel with some people and not others. Take the famous case of Marilyn Monroe and Arthur Miller. She was Hollywood's ultimate bombshell. He was a quiet playwright yet. They fell madly in love. Why? Maybe Marilyn craved his intellect, while Arthur was drawn to her depth beyond the glamour. This proves that beyond hormones and algorithms, personal experiences and emotions shape who we connect with. And here's something even more fascinating. Attraction can grow over time. Studies show that even if someone doesn't seem attractive at first, prolonged interaction can change that. This is called the slow burn effect, proving that emotional connections can literally rewire your brain's perception of someone. The truth about love. So, the next time you find yourself falling for someone, remember your brain is the mastermind behind it all. Attraction is a mix of biology, psychology, and that mysterious X factor that makes love so unpredictable. But here's the real takeaway. Your brain might start the process, but what happens next is up to you. Love isn't just about who your brain picks, it's about how you build, nurture, and grow that connection over time. Because in the end, real love isn't about chemistry, it's about choice.